Hey guys, today we're going to be going over uh, swapping out the hard drive of an Asus Q550L laptop into a um, solid state drive. Now there's, there's four, five, there's ten screws all around. It's a T5, T5 screwdriver. Uh, to take that off, it's fairly simple. Um, just gonna remove these four right here. Once you take those Phillips screws apart, you you lift up this corner right here to get it underneath, and then just with one finger hold on here, and then just pull this back, and it comes right off. Um, and you'll be able to take it out and put the solid state in. After you let the CD do its thing. It's going to get on this page and then now you're going to go through, set up your password, your username. Um, so now that we put Windows 7 on the laptop, uh, I tried putting the Wi-Fi drivers on a flash drive but I guess none of the flash drive ports, USB ports are working till the drivers are installed. So I just installed uh, on my other computer. Uh, a blank DVD and then when you right click and you click open on that drive it's gonna ask you how you want to use the DVD and then I just said like a USB flash drive so then it formats it and then you just open folder and now you can just cut and paste so now we installed that DVD onto the laptop and for the Wi-Fi install setup after the restart now it now it gives you the option to connect to Wi-Fi now you're just gonna wanna go to uh, Windows update and now you're going to check for updates and update all your drivers this way. If for some reason the Windows update takes a little longer, what I like to do is just head on over to File Hippo and search uh, Driver Booster. Download that program, it's a freeware. Now it just uh, scans and it finds all the outdated drivers. As you can see there's a lot because I haven't updated anything so then what you want to do is go individually press update and then this way you can update all your drivers I went under device manager the universal serial bus controller was had an exclamation mark and even if you right click and you updated it, it did not work. So in that case, what you want to do is, and also my USB ports were not working. Um, my phone could charge with the USB, but I was not recognizing any flash drives. So here are the options that you want to make sure that you have in order for uh, your laptop with the new solid state to run off of the CD drive with the operating system. What you wanna do is under security, you're gonna scroll down to secure boot. You're gonna make sure that the secure boot is disabled. Now hover over to advanced and you're gonna click on USB configuration. Once you click on that, uh, the second option, the XHCI preboot mode, you want to make sure that's disabled. Once you disable that, escape, save changes and exit. 